Father God, I thank you for yet another opportunity to come to you in prayer in the midnight hour. For your word said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his name shall continually be in my mouth. So I thank you that we can just come to you. I thank you for those who stand in touch and agree with me. Your word says when two or more gathered that you be in a midst. So we thank you that we can stand on your word. And Father God, this particular Thursday night, the 25th one and the 26th of February, we want to ask you to partner us in everything that we've done intentionally or unintentionally, which displease you, Father God. We want to serve you and give you all the honor and glory that you and you alone deserve. Father God, and um, I have a cousin who requested prayer. I told him I would pray. He had knee surgery. So I pray for a recovery, a supernatural recovery for him and healing and Father God and why he is recovering to just take time to enjoy being in your presence, Father God. And um, I have other colleagues and friends who are waiting for knee surgery. So Father God, and I pray for them that it will come and that they too will have a successful surgery. But while they are going through and waiting to just hold on to you, your grace is sufficient. And Father God, in this particular this particular past week, I was blessed to work the midnight shift. And again, I just thank you for all those who work midnights, who care for people. I think sometimes we forget about that pain, sickness, and other things happen in the midnight hour that it's beyond nine to five and that I just thank you for those who tend to people and care for people and provide service in in those hours and more importantly God you do you are God of all time everywhere so I just bless your holy name and I bless your name for healing I bless your name for being a provider I bless your name for being a keeper. I bless your name for being a forgiver. I bless your name for being a holder. I bless your name for being sovereign. I bless your name for sending your only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins. I bless your name for sending the Holy Spirit, for being a comforter and a keeper and a guide. Father God, I bless you for my job. I bless you for my family. I bless you for provision. I bless you for getting me through some hard times, Father God, and I bless you for being with me when it was times when it was just me. Father God, I just bless your name. Tonight, I bless your name, Father God, and I know that we have some family and friends who are going through something. I have a family member and a colleague whose birthday, so I bless your name that they can celebrate another birthday, Father God, and for those who are mourning, Father God, I, I ask that you will bless them with your healing. Show yourself to be a healer to them, a comforter to them, Father God, a, a helper to them. You are everything we need, Father God. And I'm glad that I want you on top of needing you, Father God. I'm glad that I know that. And Father God, you know all of the intentions in our heart, Father God. And you know the things that shouldn't be. We ask that you remove them, Father God. And so that we can live in a way that pleads you, that, that glorify you. And um, a song, pick, song of the week pick is um, Nia Allen um, waiting. And Father God, and she says in her song, help me to wait, Father God. And, and that is my prayer. Help me to wait. Wait in a way that I seek you, that I listen to you, and that I do the things that are pleasing to you while I'm waiting. But Father God, I just bless your holy name. There's so much to be grateful for, Father God. Even through the hardest of hard times, Father God, it's still a blessing that you keep me, Father God, that you continue to keep me. I thank you for all the churches that's open in your name, Father God. I thank you for my prayer warriors, um, Deacon Allen, the Morning Glory Prayer Partners, the Kadesh Baptist Church, prayer call every day at 6 o'clock, 
Second Baptist Church in Arbor, their weekly Wednesday morning prayer call, Father God, and everyone else who is um, families doing chats and Zooms, um, sharing time with each other virtually, lifting your name, Father God, and let us be about your business of lifting your name to tell people about you, who you are, and why it's so important to have a relationship with you and Father God, and, and that's my prayer that we can bless your name so much that we can give you all the honor and glory, that others will see it and, and want it. But more importantly, Father God, when we have opportunity to share your word, for us to share your word, and that's what your son, Jesus Christ, said to be about his father's business. And Father God, I thank you for that example. I thank you so much. I bless your holy name. I thank you. I bless you. And again, there was um, a young lady who was shot and they counted her out as being deceased. But Father God, you turned it around. You answered prayer. So I'm going to leave this in this prayer on this note that you can do anything but fail. You're sovereign and you have all power. So, Father God, we bless your holy name for having all power and we will hold on to your hands. We thank you. We love you. And again, we bless your holy name in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen.